<laughs> I'm nervous. Do I look good? Is the lighting good? <laughs> Celebrity ever slid it into your DM. Are you single? Go. You go. You go. You're supposed to ask me a question. Oh. Hello guys, so my name is Thimbir. Welcome to my YouTube vlog. YouTube vlog? I mean, hello guys, my name is Thimbir. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm here with my friend Girat. Girat, say hi. Hello. Okay, so this is my best friend Girat, and she's here to help me film my YouTube. This is my investment. Into our this is her investment. So she's gonna ask me some questions, so you guys can get to know me. Tamber, first, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um. <laughs> you told me to ask you questions. But you just started off with like such a vague question, okay? Well, you say, hi, my name is Tanvir. I'm this many years old. I'm not telling people how old I am. Okay, Tanvir, first things first. What got you into social media? So the reason I got into social media was because of my mental health. Um, I was in kind of a hard place, so in like 2020, and it all started in 2018. Um, so this was kind of just my escape and like a way to love myself because I wouldn't like leave the house, I wouldn't get ready, so like this gives me a chance to put myself together. Just like today, I got up in the morning, I showered, I got ready, and I'm here with my friend. Also because, um, so back in the day in, back in the day in 2015, me and my two best friends <laughs> used so long to ago. model, you know, like the Surrey show, yeah. we walk, walk the runways, we did a couple music videos, so that was something that I kind of fell in love with back then. But then we sort of all just stopped. Well, I stopped mainly because I wanted to focus on school and work. But then I like then I kind of got back into it when like Instagram and TikTok kind of took off. And I love it. I love just doing this every day. It makes me happy. And I know a lot of people think, oh, it's such a waste of time for me. It keeps me happy. It keeps my mental health good. And it's a way for me. It's a, it's a way that I found myself again. I started to love myself again through social media. Do you see yourself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? Honestly, I don't know where I see myself in five years because if you had asked me this question five years ago, I would have said I would I would have been married. I probably have kids by now, but look at me, here I am, <laughs> making a YouTube video, spending my time making TikToks every day. So I don't know where I see myself in five years. Hopefully just in a happy place and still loving myself, showing up for myself. I think simple. I don't just go with the flow. Cool. Yeah. Tanvir, where were you born? I was born in Punjab, Ljubljana. And how was it? How was it for you immigrating here so young? Um, I think it was good and both bad in a way because immigrating here younger, I kind of got myself like you know I was able to establish myself here. Whereas if I had moved here later, it would have been harder. But it's the, I also had I also had my struggles. So mm. when I moved here, I was ten years old. So I was in grade four. And I barely spoke any English, right? I was that new kid from India that dressed weird, right? Like my mom would do weird braids on me mm -hmm. and I would go to school. And the oil would, in the hair. The oil in my hair and my clothes, obviously I dressed differently, right? So not everybody was the nicest. Like some girls in um, my elementary school used to bully me. So there was this time, so we had um, Alice, in, Alice in the Wonderland. What was that? Um, yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. Alice in Wonderland, yeah. Yeah, Alice in Wonderland. So we had that play. So I got cast it as a crow. Right? <laughs> to play the flute. So there was a bunch of us sitting on the de uh, on the bench. We were supposed to play flutes. So my mom, Bajari, right? Duru Ai, like, you know, she left her work and she came to watch me. Right? So it's our turn to go up. I'm ready to go up and our flutes were under a bench. I went to go look under the bench. My flute was gone. <gasps> yeah. Did I, they take it? So I didn't know what to do. I felt so bad, right? I hid under the bench. And but daddy, my mom's there, you know when they put an idea and she's looking for me. So whatever, I hid and then I went obviously to go look for my flute. I told my teacher, I'm like, Mary Kissing a flute lally. <laughs> I was like, Where's my flute? Someone threw it behind a piano. You know the piano desk? Yeah. And then I went home and mom my, my mom was like, What the matter? Do them in bikini. I was like, Mom, I was there, I promise, you know my head you see, because I didn't want to tell her exactly what happened. But overall, I think, yeah, just stuff like that. But like I grew out of it. Um 
went to a different high school, made a lot of friends here. Overall, it's been good. Danver, what are some of your hobbies? So some of my hobbies are, I love dancing. So I've been dancing since I was 10 years old. Love like the whole creative side of life, right? Just um, like the art side of life, that's what I love. And I love being active. So I love going to the gym, getting a workout in every day. I played sports throughout my whole high school and elementary school. So that's something that I love doing just maybe I'll go like shoot some hoops baskets once in a while hoops. and then social media is like a huge part of my life now so I love um, making videos TikToks, um, starting my YouTube channel now so that's something that I love and I love going out with my friends for brunch brunch is my favorite thing because I don't like to go out 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 all the time <laughs> and then yeah just taking care of myself I love lemon water and chai tea latte so being healthy and taking care of myself. Okay, what do you do for work? What do I do for work? I actually went to school for criminology, so I did a criminology oh, yeah, degree. Awesome. And But I initially first started doing nursing, so I got into the nursing program and in, at Kwantlen. So I did my first semester, but I hated it. So from there, I swapped to criminology and then um, finished my degree. Then I worked at the Vancouver Police Department for six months or so under the mental health unit. That was pretty cool. But then I kind of just fell into finance and now I work in finance. So this is a part of the video where we get a little spicy. <laughs> spicy. Tanvir, we all want to know, are you single and ready to mingle? I am single. I've been single for three, four years now. Yeah. Four years now. Am but I she's ready not to ready to mingle. She is not. I am we ready tried. to mingle. She says that. We've tried. She's not ready to mingle. <laughs> Speaking of, um, what was your worst ex of your, of your relationships? I haven't had that many relationships, so we can all just guess. <laughs> Let's say it was a five-year relationship. <laughs> it was <laughs> of pure hell. No, I'm joking. Speaking of being single, why are you single? Why am I single? It's because I think I've gotten really comfortable being single. Like I said, I haven't been in a relationship for four years. So I've just been focusing on myself. Be our and third you know wheel. what? Because I don't put myself out there. Like I'm not that type of person that if I see someone that I like or I think that person's cute, I will never in my life go up to that person and be like, hi, I think you're cute. Or like if I know someone that I like, I will never message you. I'll I'll just I just can't. I just can't put myself She just out waits there. for things to drop out of I the sky. I want someone to show up on my door. <laughs> yeah. Like a Bollywood movie. And then oh, sure I want it to be organic. And yeah, Kira always asks me, then we're like, why don't you try out dating apps? And like, I just don't want to meet someone through a dating app. I'm like an old soul. <laughs> I've grown up watching 90s Bollywood movies. I want to like run into someone. My hair's flying. I want my books to fall. My gets stuck on him. Like, you know, like Shah Rukh Khan and Gajal, that's the type of love I want. And I don't think that exists out there. But if you are that type of person, slide into my DMs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and you just said you probably won't reply, so. So, we all want to know, has a celebrity ever slidden into your DMs? Yes, a couple. <laughs> Which one? I'm not going to drop the names, but like, let's just say very known, well-known Punjabi artists. <laughs> Great. <laughs> What's an embarrassing memory of yours? But okay. I have one in my mind. I know, I know the one that you're thinking of. <laughs> okay, so me and my friends there was i think six, six yeah of six us. of us yeah we went to was it Kelowna? yeah yeah so we went to Kelowna um for the weekend and then we decided you know what let's go jump Swimming. in the water let's go swim and i can't swim by the way and then um i decided to wear you know like the halter swimsuits no bando was it a bando yeah, yeah so a bando. i decided to bando so keep in mind there was three girls and three boys so girlfriends boyfriends <laughs> okay <laughs> So I'm running. I'm like, okay, I'm not in the water. So, I, and then everybody's like, I, I don't know what I decided to do. I was like, what did I do? No, you were getting, so you were in the water and then you stood up out of the water. Oh, yeah, so I was in the water, right? I was in the water and I stood up like this. Yeah. <laughs> it was gone. 
it was so embarrassing. And then I turned That's around. That's not even the worst of it, yeah. And one of the boyfriends. <laughs> not her boyfriend. Not my boyfriend. Not, not, my, boyfriend. not my ex-boyfriend, but like my other friend's boyfriend. <laughs> was literally he got a full show he got a full show pretty much and then i ruined the whole trip yeah that's not the end of it i cried fought with everybody even though it was no one's fault but he sat in a corner just mopping like is it mopping moping moping can i'm in english only on the that's why the kids made fun of me yeah that was probably the most embarrassing moment of my life okay thank you for watching guys and i hope you got to know me a little better today so please do like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and yeah comment below let me know what you guys want to see um we are going to uh banff next week so we're gonna vlog that trip so i'll see you then thanks for watching yeah.